Hey killer bees, it's Paula B from paulabfitness.com and on tap today I've got a great weight loss power walk that is perfect for women of a certain age. Ladies, today we're going to go all low impact, which means absolutely no jumping. There's no transitions to the ground, there's also no equipment needed, and for my friends who are really into this kind of thing, there is no repeating of the exercises. It is a thorough Thursday though, which means that I've got both a warm up and a cool down and plenty of sweat in between. So when you're ready, I'm totally ready. Let's go! All right, you guys, let's go ahead and get moving and grooving. And that means that we're going to get started with some arm circles with high knees. I've got a nice, easy and gentle warm up for us today because let's be honest, today, well, it's not going to be easy or really gentle exactly, but it's also not going to be like the craziest sweat fetch that you have ever lived through because you know what? That is actually the real key to weight loss at our age, my friends. I know, I know that for a long time, we really had to just work harder in order to lose weight. But I tell you what, the thing that has happened to us as we've gotten a little bit seasoned, let's say, is that our bodies have actually changed. The way that we used to be able to process exercise and we used to be able to process food and we used to be able to process life, frankly, it has all changed in this season. And now, now, if we want to lose weight, we weirdly have to move easier, gentler, be kinder to ourselves. Let's go ahead and do some arm crossers with booty kickers. And we're going to keep this at a nice mild, moderate rate today. Now here's the thing, I know you saw the title and you were like, ooh, power walk. That's awesome. I'm going to get a great sweat. We're going to move hard. It's going to be perfect. Well, it will be perfect. <laughs> no matter what you want to get out of today's workout, this can be absolutely perfect for you. If you are actually not trying to lose weight, but you just felt like a power walk, you could grab some light dumbbells and turn this into a little bit of a toning session as well. If you are trying to lose weight though, I will wholeheartedly encourage you to take this entire workout at a pace that you can manage. And here's Here's just about the pace that I can manage. Not too fast, not too slow, just enough. Let's go ahead and do some welcome to my homes. Welcome to my home. Stretching and twisting just a little bit. Really opening up that chest, opening up your shoulders, taking nice big deep breaths because I tell you what, once I set this timer, we're go, go, going until the very end. There is no rest today. I've got the intervals set for 30 seconds. We're going to power walk for 30 seconds and then I've got, oh gosh, a long list actually of other exercises because we are not repeating today. I had to dig deep into my exercise bag of tricks. We've got some fun stuff today. Let's go ahead and get started with a nice power walk. Now here's the thing about a power walk. It doesn't have to be all that powerful. I'm going to take it at this kind of a rate. You can get your arms into it if you'd like to, but I would really strongly suggest that you take it kind of moderately because we're not resting at all. When it beeps again, we're going to go into our other exercise, which is letter K's. We're going to start with our hands up overhead. We're going to bring one hand down out to one side while kicking out on that same side. On one side, it'll look like the letter K. On the other side, it does not. Now here's the great thing about this power walk. If any one of these exercises proves to be just not what you were looking for in the day, it might happen, you know, it happens sometimes. Just go on back to walking or marching. That's what we're going to do in between each and every one. So we'll walk and then we'll do something and then we'll walk and then we'll do something else. That's what our workout looks today. Nice and simple, nice and gentle, and yet nice and sweaty. So here we are back to that walking or marching exercise. My friends, this is such a great way to just feel good about your efforts. When it beeps again, we're going to do skiers, which means that we're going to be bringing up one hand and then the other directly in front of us while tapping one foot back out behind us. You guys, the thing about exercise and weight loss, you know, for so long, so here we go with skiers, stepping and putting our hands up and down in front of us. Now, 
For so long, we felt like we had to work harder and harder and harder and harder. And we really got into that mindset. You know, the no pain, no gain, gotta feel the burn, gotta feel the sweat. And yet, nowadays, our bodies just, they can still handle the work. Don't get me wrong. They can still absolutely handle the work. You could still go that hard, and here we are back to the walking. You could absolutely put in that kind of work. The trick, though, is our recovery from it. It takes a little bit longer to recover. It takes your body more to recover than it has to give. Coming up next, we're gonna do a side step, side kick. So we're gonna to step to the side, like maybe two, three times at the most, a little bit, of, almost like a grapevine. And then when we get to the end, we're gonna side kick. So step, 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 and side kick. Step, 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 and side kick. Give it a little groove. Oh, working on your balance. <laughs> working on that lateral movement, your inner and outer thighs. Ooh, feeling good on this one. Plus, if you want to, you could get a little bit of a power in that kick, too. I'm not hurting anybody with mine. But, oh, it feels good to stretch out that inner and outer thigh. Whew, and then right back to marching. My friends, at this age, I'm going to put a little truth bomb on you. We don't have as much estrogen as we used to. And estrogen is actually the hormone that helps our muscles recover from a hard workout. I know you probably didn't know that because I didn't know it until I looked it up. You guys, when it beeps again, we're gonna do squat jacks, which means that we're going to squat while our hands are doing jumping jacks. My little mnemonic device is that if your hands are down, your hips are down. If your hands are up, your hips are up. I like to step side to side when I do these. Again, kind of getting a little bit of that lateral motion, just feeling good, a little bit different from all that walking that's just so forward and backward. When we do a little bit of lateral movement like this, it feels real nice in your hips. When it beeps again, of course, we're coming right back to walking. You are doing such a good job, and here we go. So, so that whole lack of estrogen thing means that if our muscles can't clear out all the stress of our exercise, and I know that stress is kind of a funny word there, but exercise is stress on your body, physical stress. I know we think of stress as being mental, but physical stress on your body, and if it can't clear away, your body just hangs on to it. Here we go with overhead booty kickers. Our hands are going up and down, overhead down to shoulders. Bottom half of your body is doing some booty kickers. Feeling that nice stretch on the front of your thighs. Hands going up and down in front of you, bringing your heart rate up a little bit more than it already was. Doing such a nice job. When it beeps, we're gonna go back to that walking. So my friends, when we have a buildup of stress in our bodies, your body doesn't know what to do with that, except it has one response. It stores fat. That is like the exact opposite of what we're trying to do when we're exercising harder and harder. I mean, it's kind of weird and so counterintuitive to think that we have to exercise more gently to help our bodies recover, to help our bodies shed fat. My friends, here we go with a low ding dong. Oh, my hip totally just popped. We're kicking out to one side and then kicking out to the other. Our hands are swinging side to side. A Little bit of balance work and honestly, a whole lot of fun. I love this exercise. I feel like I can really get rocking without entirely falling over on something like this. When it beeps again, of course, of course, we're going back to that power walk. Oh, I love it. I love it when I know what's coming next, when I've got something in between where I can kind of catch my breath. It's not rest, not at all today. We're working on that heart health with this cardio endurance workout, but the walking is a little bit less stressful <laughs> than the other exercises. My friends, when it beeps again, we're doing V reaches which means that we're gonna form a V in the air with our hands. While we're coming down, we're gonna squat down. When we stand up, we're gonna just twist a little tiny bit. Both 
feet stay on the ground the whole time, but you can kind of come up on your toe a little bit on that one side, get a little bit of a squeeze in that leg and in those glutes. When it beeps again, we're going right back to that power walk, power march. How is your heart rate doing? You know, we want to keep it nice and moderate today. When we're doing this kind of a workout for this long, not a super long time, but long enough, you want to make sure that you're keeping your heart rate under control so that you can continue on without having to stop or pause or take time to bring your heart rate down. Whatever pace that means for you, that's the pace you should be going. When it beeps again, I'm going to do one of my favorite exercises, goofy jacks. It's like a jumping jack, but there's absolutely Absolutely no jumping today. We get just a little bend in the knees. Your hands are doing jumping jacks. One foot is coming out at a time. You can make that foot go out as wide and as far as you like. I keep mine not super high. I like to make sure that I'm getting a good inner and outer thigh squeeze on this one without knocking myself completely out of balance. For me, I'm always balancing with what kind of way I'm doing each exercise. I want to make sure, here we go back to the walking. I want to make sure that I'm getting the benefit, of course, standing on one foot benefits your core strength. But I also want to make sure that I'm not knocking myself out of balance and then, you know, twisting my knee, twisting my hip, giving myself a cramp somewhere in my leg or my hip. You always got to make sure that you're doing your best workout. When it beeps again, we're doing a reach across high and low, which means that we're going to reach across just like it sounds like. Both hands going high. So reach across one way, then the other way. High, then down low, then down low. You can really feel the difference in your abs when you're reaching high and squeezing low. Nice job. Excellent. Reach and squeeze when we're reaching down low. Of course, this is lateral again on our legs. We got a lot of inner and outer thigh going on today. You know, when in doubt, I like to make sure, here we go back to that walking or marching. I like to make sure that I get us a good whole body toning session, whether we've got weights or not. You can tone even when you're doing cardio, any kind of movement. If you are moving, you are toning. When it beeps again, gonna do rainbow kicks, which means that our hands are gonna go up overhead like a rainbow. When we come over to one side, we're kicking out to that side. It's a lot like those low ding-dongs, except that our hands are going high on this one rather than low. So again, you could really get it rocking, thinking about where your balance is, challenging your balance. The right amount might look different than mine. Honestly, most people have better balance than I do. So kicking as high or as wide as feels best to you while going nice and moderately if weight loss is your goal. My friends, right back to that marching or walking. When it beeps again, we're going to do something I call tap back bursts. I'm going to tell you about that right now. And then we're going to talk a little bit about your goal. You know, I use that word a lot. Tap back burst means that we're doing almost like a curtsy lunge, except we're not going back quite that far, but we're going to just tap back out to the side and then we're going to burst open and then do the same thing on the other side. So taking a little bit of a step, step from side to side. You know, I know a lots of us, so tap back, burst, tap back, burst. I know lots of us talk about, oh, I'd like to lose 10 pounds, or I, it'd be nice if, when I'm doing these exercises, if I could lose a little bit of a weight, or I mean, a lot of weight. Really depends on, on where you are and what you want. And I will encourage you, my friend, if, if you do really want to lose weight, I will encourage you to make it, here we go back to that walking or marching, an actual goal rather than I'd like to or I wish or maybe or wouldn't it be nice. I will encourage you to say the words out loud. I am losing weight. Make it a reality. Do the things you need to do to lose weight. When it beeps again, we're doing can-cans. Do you need to do can-cans to lose weight? Maybe, maybe not. It just happens to be part of this workout. It means that we've got a little bit of a knee and then a kick 
and then a knee, and then a kick. I do like to reach with my hand a little bit on this one. The more you're moving the hands, the more your heart rate comes up. So you decide what feels moderate to you. Moderate for you might be faster than me. Moderate for you might be significantly slower than me. It might be my exact speed. You are the judge of your pace, of your modifications, of your everything, honestly. Here we are back to that walking or marching. You know, hoping to lose weight by doing weight loss workouts. It's not gonna get you as far as you would hope. When it beeps again, we're doing step back jacks. Our hands are doing jumping jacks. Our feet are doing step back. So taking a step straight back behind you, really squeezing from your glutes to feel that work in the step back. The hands going up and down is what's gonna keep your heart rate nice and high. Thinking about squeezing, thinking about moving with control, holding your core in. When you decide to lose weight and you make it a goal to lose weight, it changes some of your daily activities. It helps you focus on doing the right things. Not just sometimes, not just when you feel uncomfortable. Here we are back to walking. But all day, every day, to focus and say this is what I'm working towards. You know, I know that you'd rather go harder, go sweatier, pick up weights, do more toning, do more, more, more in this workout when it beeps again. Oh my gosh. We're doing something I call cheerleader kicks, which means that our elbows are going to stay super high, like right at shoulder level. Hands are going to go up and down with those elbows high and we're going to kick out front. <laughs> Yay! Go team! <laughs> This is what I was talking about when I said that no repeat, I was digging deep into my exercise bag of tricks. I've got some silly ones. We're getting pretty low on the list, honestly, and it just gets more fun from here. <laughs> but my friends, when it's your goal to lose weight rather than just your hope or your wish, you will sometimes hold yourself back. You will do moderate work instead of working super hard and working yourself into the ground. You will hold yourself back to whatever your number of calories is that's right for you personally. And I wholeheartedly encourage you to find the right number, not just a low number, not just trying to eat less. When it beeps again, we're doing something I call low ponies. It's the pony, that old, you know, the old timey dance. One hand goes up and down in front of you, or uh, well, one hand at a time, goes up and down in front of you. And we're just kind of jumping a little bit on that other leg. Little tap, little tap. Hands go up and down, hips go side to side. If you want to, you could get into a real dance with it here. Have some fun with it. When in doubt, especially if you are holding yourself back to moderation, you should definitely have fun with these exercises. When it beeps again, going back to that walking or marching. Oh, bringing your hands down will help bring your heart rate down a little. At this point, I tell you what, at this point, there's really no bringing it all the way down until we're done which is coming up not too, not too long from now. We've got a couple more exercises. The next one, so then I call twisting kicks, which means that we're going to twist our upper body while kicking forward. This is surprisingly difficult to do and something that I really have to think about every time. When you're kicking with your right leg, for example, you're twisting your torso towards the right, which means that you really have to think about keeping your hips moving or rather staying forward. You really have to think about pulling in your core and squeezing from those abs and obliques. I know it's cardio, but we're getting all kinds of strength work in here too, specifically core strength, my friends. When it beeps again, oh my gosh, going back, whoo. Okay, that one was harder than I thought it always is, which is why I like to include it. Right back to that walking or marching. When it beeps again, we're doing double knees, which means that our hands are gonna go up overhead like they do in these low impact cardio workouts. We're gonna bring our hands to our knees and our knee up to our hand two times on one side and then we'll pivot a little bit and two times on the other side. Nice and gentle, nice and moderate on this one. 
you know, here kind of late in the workout. Now is where we can really tell, oh, did I go out too hard? <laughs> or do I have so much energy left that maybe it's okay if I don't slow it down? You know, when, when we first start wrapping our mind around this whole moderate exercise to lose weight thing, it's actually really difficult to do moderate work, especially if you are so used to doing hard, vigorous workouts. We're back to the walking and marching right now, by the way. <coughs> wrapping your brain around it is the first part. And then getting your body to figure out what moderation feels like is the second part. So if today is your first time being introduced to this idea of moderation to lose weight, just work on your brain first. Next time you can work on your body. When it moves again, we're doing disco dancers. It's just what it sounds like. It looks like, well, it looks like John Travolta in Saturday Night Fever. One hand goes up. We're tapping that other foot out. You can point your fingers if you like to really get a disco feel for it. Feeling that disco fever and having some fun. <laughs> I've got a whole a lot of dancing for us here near the end of this workout because when in doubt you know what my friend I think you should always always have fun with your workout no matter what you want to get out of it here we go back to that walking or marching no matter what your goal is if you want to improve your athletic performance or you want to change the shape or the composition of your body or you want to lose weight no matter why you're exercising, it has to be fun for you to stick with it. When it beeps again, we're doing alley-oops, which means we're gonna spread our feet nice and wide. We're gonna rainbow up over the top, come down in something of a lunge on one side by pivoting both feet one way, and then up and over and pivot and come down on the other side. Awesome job. Nice and not super fast on this one for me, that's for sure. This one got tough. These lunges, we wanna think about using excellent form, not putting your knee over your toes. Whew, doing such a good job when it beeps again, coming right back to that walking or marching. Excellent. My friends, any one workout will not get you a ton of results. The thing that gets you results is consistency. And the best way or the easiest way to be consistent is to have fun. When it beeps again, speaking of having fun, it's our last exercise. We're doing dancing X's. We started with letter K's. We're finishing with dancing X's. We're gonna form a big X with our body, hands up and feet wide. You're bringing your opposite knee towards your opposite elbow. One on each side. It's a big knee up and elbow in. Thinking about squeezing from those abs. Core is pulled in tight. Having such a good time with this one. Feeling wide and free. When it beeps again, we are going to do one more walking or marching. Bringing our heart rate down a teeny tiny bit. Because even though we are done, I mean, you know, I just told you, we're done, but we're not finished. <laughs> I've got one final exercise for us, and you're gonna love it. You're not, but you're gonna love it because I'm gonna make us balance a little bit. You know, after all this cardio, this is actually the perfect time to work on your core strength. When your heart rate is up, your body is feeling kind of floopy, kind of good, kind of a little bit flushed and everything. Now, when we stand on one foot, it's much more difficult, and that makes it good for us. We're gonna do some really slow drinky birds. For me, I'm starting on my left leg, tipping forward because I've brought my right foot back behind me. When you come back up to standing, try really hard not to tap that foot down. If you need to, of course you should. I will never tell you not to tap down, but I will tell you to do your best. We're not trying to get a lot done. I might get done like two or three of these. We're going as slow and as controlled as you can. That was two of them. Here we go on the other side. And then this is it. This is a no repeat finisher also. So here we go, down into a drinky bird. Standing back up, nice and strong. Core is pulled in tight. Ah, the only way to work on your balance, my friends, is to work on your balance. Even though it is difficult, even though well, it's still fun, but it's not as fun as like those disco dancers and stuff. Even though it's not your favorite. 
we're done with it. And we're better than done. We're actually finished. I was going to start marching again. That was super funny. I'm actually going to do some tappers here to finish bringing my heart rate down. I've got a nice little cool down. This is super quick. You know, on these thorough Thursdays, I do want to make sure that you cool down at least a little bit. I know some of you, in spite of my entire long diatribe about how moderation is the best way to help you lose weight, some of you are going to move on to another workout after this to make it longer. I know you are. I'm looking at you, my friend. <laughs> But for those of you who took me at my word and who are going to give this moderation thing a try, I do want to make sure that you bring your heart rate down gently and safely. You know, sometimes when we do that high heart rate thing and then we just bloop, turn off the TV and go do the dishes or get on with the day or whatever, it's not the most dangerous thing that you can do, but it's also not great for your body. And since we're having this conversation about doing the right thing for your goals, I will tell you that bringing your heart rate down gently, kindly, nicely, it's a good thing to do for your body. Giving yourself a little bit of a chance to come back out of that cardio fog <laughs> that we get in. Giving your muscles the chance to come back to their normal length. That is important so that you don't feel stiff and sore. And that's actually especially important. Let's go ahead and do some arm crossers. Oh, give yourself a nice big hug. When you are working out moderately, you don't really want to be sore. The, the point of moderation is that you could, technically speaking, do this workout or something exactly like it every single day. You don't have to do this exact workout every single day. My, I, think, I think that chatter would get really annoying if it was the same exact workout every single day. And that's really saying something because I have a high tolerance for chatter. But my friends, I try to keep these war or these cool downs rather kind of brief so that you can get on with your day. But if you would like a longer one, I do have one here on screen at the very last 20 seconds of the video. I also down on the bottom have an invitation to go over to Patreon like my friends Amy, Jill, Jeanette, and Kelly who made really generous monthly pledges that helps me make free workouts for all of us. And so Amy, Jill, Jeanette, and Kelly, thank you, thank you, thank you from all of us. On the other side of the screen is me. That's a subscribe button. Make sure that you click that so that we can work out again next time. Thank you so much for working out with me. Click subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.